Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. This is uh, Michael, the captain on flotation therapy. We're Lagoon 450, chartering here in the USVI. Let me show you around a little bit on deck here. So first, let's start up at our uh, flybridge. As you can see from here, everything, you can fit six guests comfortably with the crew on board as well. We have a nice seating area pad at the front for sunbathing as well. Great spot, especially underway. Everybody comes up, we all hang out, have a good time while we're sailing. Um, so here, let's move to the foredeck. As you can see, another nice seating area. There's also two windows that go into the salon. That we can also serve appetizers, cocktails, while you all relax out front here. We have a bunch of different toys on board, including paddleboard, kayaks, we have full dive gear, six BCs, masks, snorkels, fins, all the good stuff. Eight scuba tanks, so we can do plenty of diving pretty much the whole trip if you'd like. This is only a small portion of our toys, we have a lot more to uh, play with while on trip. Let's make our way back around here to the aft deck of the cockpit. As you can see, plenty of fishing gear on board as well. We like to do trolling, casting, fly fishing, any sort of fishing people enjoy. We have our little tender here, and we can also use the surfboard off the back of the tow rope. Do a lot of surfing off the back. Also, we have an inner that the kids love to go out on. It is a flat. And finally, one of the most popular sections of the boat here is the cockpit. As you can see, we have our bar here. I have two Yeti coolers, keeps the drinks nice and cold all through Charter. Great seating areas everywhere. Set up dinner here every night. It's just beautiful. Great spot for a sunset as well. I'll take you inside here to meet Chef Sarah, who can show you around the interior. Hi! <laughs> this is my galley, where all the food comes out. <laughs> and uh, this is um, coming down in the port aft cabin. You'll see you got a little hallway right here. A little pretty picture of octopus. And then there's a the bathroom. And then a shower. All cabins have each one to their own. And this is the bed. We'll come back upstairs. And this is the salon where we play games and have good food and chill out, read a book. Know, good lounging area and then the beautiful espresso maker because you got to have that coffee <laughs> that's fantastic and, <laughs> um, would you like to take a seat we're yeah. going to ask you a few questions all right so it's chef sarah yeah what kind of cuisine can guests expect um, I do a little bit of everything, a little American, uh, Asian fusion is my favorite, I like Asian fusion, um, a little bit of everything. Do you have a favorite dish you like to make? Um, on the last night of charter, I do like to do a, a seared scallops with filet mignon and a cauliflower puree, and then I follow that up with a um, chocolate lava cake. This is one of my favorite things to make. So guys, what kind of life experience has prepared you for the charter crew role? What makes you stand out? Um, I grew up on a sailboat, so I have some background in sailing and traveling and just finding good times to be on a boat and what to do and, you know, have some interesting little stories of all that. <laughs> what about you, Sarah? 
you, Captain. Uh, yeah, so I have experience working on the water for about six years now, and also some of my biggest hobbies would be scuba diving, snorkeling, fishing, all that fun stuff. Also enjoy entertaining people, so as far as like, you know, sunset cocktails or even game night, TV, so I'd say ultimately just working on boats and enjoying what I do can really give a great experience for everybody. So other than all your water toys and water sports activities, what other entertainment does Flotation Therapy offer? So once again, we do like game nights. Uh, last year, if you're a big football fan, soccer fans, baseball, basketball, any sports, hockey, we have a TV on board as well that we put up and we can do a fun little sports thing or for kids we can also do like a movie night with popcorn and everything nighttime just relax um, some other things would be we do like fun sunset cocktails every night so we try to do a different cocktail paired with a certain appetizer as you watch the sunset off the boat and just kind of relax and wind down from a day of fun so broker question um fly fishing in the virgin islands yeah, so there is fly fishing in the Virgin Islands, especially up by Megan's Bay at Hans Lollick. There's a nice little cove you can go to, anchor and drop back in. There's tarpon schools that run back and forth. And me and my brother have caught some big ones there on fly rods. Also, bone fishing is not as good as it is in Key West and everything, but you can still get out on some shallow sand flats here and get snapper, things like that. That sounds really fun. So what kind of um, charter groups do you guys prefer on board? Um, we noticed last year we do really well. Well, first of all, obviously we cater to everybody. Because that <laughs> is, we can definitely accommodate anyone, but we've noticed we do great with families and kids oriented charter groups. So kids from, you know, young, young, from like 5 to 18. Not a problem. We get them out on the tube all day, having fun, snorkeling, showing them sea life. I say we also do movie nights for them. Just fun all day long. It keeps us busy, keeps them busy. We really just enjoy having families on board, essentially. Do you guys have a favorite charter memory? Sarah. <laughs> um, so there was this little kid on board. We were all. I think it was about last night at dinner. I fed them some lamb shank, and he's about little guy. And then he turns around to me. And he's like, "Sarah, that meat is good." <laughs> it was hilarious. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> that's adorable. Yeah. Well, that's all the questions I have for you guys. All right. Do we have any other broker questions? Um, and how many how many people can you hold on board? Uh, six. Six. Six okay. guests. Yep. Those are all full size guests. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. They have three cabins, all with queen size beds. Okay. Um, and then, do you have a favorite place in the USVI that you like to go to? You um, don't have to share any secrets. The south side of St. John is one of my favorite spots, especially for guests that like hiking, snorkeling, diving, being off of the grid a little bit. And if they preferred more of a town life, it would be more towards Honeymoon Beach, Cruise Bay area. So I guess more of the north side of St. John there. St. Croix, of course, but that's St. Croix is a little bit farther out of the way, so that's all weather dependent. So, so that's... That's great. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.